Rob, congratulations. How how big a win was that for you today after the three previous defeats to come here against an informed side and put four past? It was huge, wasn't it? Um, you know, like you say, after three defeats, um, slipping up to the playoffs, um, there, there, there was no room for error today. Um, uh, we scored four on the road twice in the last three games now. Um, you know, I felt we were very unfortunate at the Stevenage game. Um, a bit of luck changed it. Um, and and I, I felt uh, for the first hour we were we more than matched them. And uh, I felt on the night we were, um, we were good for a point. Come away here today, uh, it's performance. Uh, got a goal up. And uh, you know, um, we've kicked on. A few nervy moments, great save from Maz at 3 2. And uh, we've gone down and, and finished the game down the other end, and you know it was, uh, it was a great win, and the lads are delighted. I thought you played particularly well today. We've noted you playing pretty well over the last couple of games, winning a lot of headers. But how much did it matter to you to get a goal? Because you've, I think, it's only scored maybe one in the last couple of months or so. Has it mattered to you to get your name back on the score sheet again today? Yeah, of course. Um, and the centre forward, uh, the gaffer, brought me in uh, to score goals. And, uh, and let's be honest, that's what the chairman paid me for. Um, but when it's not going right, and you and you know again, you uh, it's not falling through in front of the goal, and you've got to make sure that you put uh, pretty shift in for the rest of the team. And uh, yeah, I've been happy with my performances over the last uh, five or six games, um, bar, bar the lack of goals. But obviously, this one at Forest Green on one today now, so um, it's starting to come back. John Shaw's goals have come at about the right time as well, haven't they? With Jake Spate now being out for the next few weeks, which is a big blow with the form he was in. But John Shaw's come in and, and played really well. Seems to have settled in up front along with you guys very quickly. Yeah, shows he's got, uh, got plenty of experience. Um, and he, he just showed that by slotting in. That's two and two now. And uh, he's played another great game today. Uh, put a great shift in down the right-hand side for the lads and put himself in a, a score sheet again. Technically, I suppose, you're kind of up against it in a way because you played more games than the other sides up around you in the playoffs. And you mentioned you slipped out uh, this week with the, the loss in midweek. But more performances like this, you'll be, you'll be back in there, won't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I mentioned to the lads this week that uh, he's still way in our own hands. Let's be honest, if we've got uh, we've got Wrexham to come to ours, we've got Rushton, we've got York, we've got Luton. So they've all got to come to our place where, where we are strong and generally get good positive results. So, you know, if, if, if they come and uh, <coughs> think they can take points off us at home, then uh, I don't think I don't think uh, many of them get much joy over there. Um, so, like I say, it's in our own hands, um, and uh, we've got to make sure that we get get the results when we play many teams around us. I hope you can. We'll play it again today. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Criticism of Mansfield recently, the game that went wrong with 7,261 people there, and a, a game at home next week against Rushton in Diamonds. Massively important. Every game now, every three point, every one, anything is needed now, isn't it? Yeah. Well. Obviously, you, you, you look at that from when you start the season, you know, everything's a key, everything's important, but you know, you get to the stage of the season where the games are well on away, and uh, you need, you know, you need to win your home games. Home games are, are massive, so we need to perform, we need to win our home games to, to go anywhere. Now, you are living in Mansfield at the moment, that's correct, isn't it? And uh, uh, several people have, have, have rung us up at the radio station saying, who is that man who walks in shorts in the morning to feel mill on the ring road? It is you, isn't it? Well, I, I go to the gym every morning before training. Oh, you I walk from home in shorts? I walk, yeah. I, walk from, I walk in my cat. In, in, in snow, in snow, you snow. walk in shorts? Yes. Is this because you're a Scot? Well, it is, definitely. But to be fair, I spent four years down in Plymouth, you know, in the Riviera, they call it English Riviera. Yeah, so you know it's uh, but no every morning up snow sleet rain I'll cycle I'll cycle in you know I cycle in at work and home from work every day oh old Blair, good luck and fabulous with that goal today yeah, and you. you know may your confidence and the way you play golf on and on and on it's always a pleasure to talk to you thank you so Blair Sturrock there